Of course, the day I gotta drive the Hellcat, it's raining. Oh man, do we have a mess in here? Oh, I guess it's a surprise. You know what we're doing today. That's right guys, we're gonna commence the fishbowl delete on this car. I'm thinking I'm going the same as my truck and my uh, Jetta. I mean, those are the tents I have available. Five on the sides, 20 on the back, and, uh, 50 on the windshield. I don't know if we're gonna get to the windshield today, but we're at least gonna get the sides and the pack done, which is a pain. Uh, those defroster lines, the dot matrix, and the fact those headrests stick out of the seats and they don't, they can't be removed is honestly a pain. I wanted to get started a little bit earlier because we also gotta get, go get new tires on the Hellcat at like 3.30. So right now I've got four hours to tint the whole car and I'm not, I mean, lift kit, yeah, I could do that. I do that daily, but tint, I do it every once in a while. So I gotta get back in the swing of things every time I start. So it's like, whew, we are gonna delete the fishbowl. I guess when you don't drive it for a couple days, it automatically starts up in eco mode, which it's raining, so I'm not complaining. Oh my goodness, I honestly just went to go push the clutch in, and there is none, so nice. When you have your like, cars and trucks inside of a big garage, they just look so much better for some reason. I don't know why, but I don't know if we're gonna get to the windshield today because that's usually a project, but definitely we're gonna go with 5% on the sides, and then on the back, we're gonna hit it with 20. Uh, the back window should also be a giant project because these are fun. And as you can see here, this rear deck gets really tight up here. Headrests don't come out, so that'll be fun as well. But definitely, definitely excited to delete the fishbowl off this truck because <laughs> I'm so used to owning like trucks and Jeeps, I just called their truck. My bad. Uh, but so excited to delete the fishbowl off this car. It's gonna look so good. Now this is one thing people ask all the time is what tint do I use? You know, I was lucky enough to be in a position where I can order a whole rolls of film it's it's actually not it's quite expensive to order full rolls but ben had some left over from when he went to tinning school so i have that i usually use the lumar now there are things between ceramic and non stuff like that there, there's a variety of options when you go to get your windows tinted this here is non-ceramic it's just basic because i didn't want to pay you know top dollar for ceramic film because that's quite expensive for a full roll you know that's that's why if you go get your windows tinted ceramic the price is drastically different, but just a normal charcoal like tinted film. It's quite you know affordable for almost anybody to get their windows tinted. It's about 200 bucks or so for a full car. Um, obviously, like you said, you guys know I like doing it myself. I paid I think it was like 300 dollars for this entire roll, and I've done my truck. I've done obviously I'm gonna do my charger. I've done my girlfriend's car. I've done my buddy's car. I've done my buddy's front two windows. I've done uh, my buddy's other friend who recommended him to me other two front windows so as you can see you you can tint a lot of vehicles with a full roll of film um but like i said it's the skill that comes into play and it is quite a skill it is quite difficult to get it right and you're gonna go through lots of film to figure it out so yeah people ask all the time but um i guess you could just see these boxes because from the same place but um lumar lumar window films um awesome awesome film awesome company yeah, so just go Dodge, come here to Charger four door sedan. And obviously, you have two options six to 10 and 11 to 19. Open, and here are all your options. If you want to tent the sunroof, you have a sunroof, windshield, different visors, depending on which mirrors and stuff you have. You have the shorter version, I mean, the shorter pattern, longer pattern. Sometimes you do the shorter pattern, it gets caught in the weather stripping, and um, will peel up so you usually go long here like i said you have both back windows you have the back window that's cut short you have the back window that's long cuts out the brake light doesn't it gives you all the options depending on how your car is spec which is super neat we're gonna be running this pattern here obviously someday we'll come back get the windshield done unless i can knock it all out rather quickly today and then the back window yeah we'll just match up whatever back window matches our car puts it on your plotter i'm gonna center it up here so i don't have any uh mistakes and it's ready to cut.
Okay, so we have all the side windows cut out. We're gonna start with these uh, little triangle quarter windows here. We'll obviously do the other back window while we're at it too. And then move to the front and the other side. So a lot of people are gonna ask, like, oh, you put the tin on the outside. No, you put it on the inside. This is just checking to see if the window's actually flat and if any fingers show up. It is pretty flat, so we won't have to shrink this. You can, you can hit it with some heat and you know, shrink it out just to make your life easier, but this is looking pretty flat. So what we're gonna do is clean the inside and then we're gonna start applying the tin. Tint master, can you uh, tint it for you? No, can you help me get these door panels off before I break them? Well, my thing is, I was gonna, I tried tucking it, but it didn't, no, just, just no. The problem is this strip over here is tight. I couldn't tuck there and there. Okay, now the window's now dirty. I think they're just clips. We have to take this screw out first, and then you'll be able to, I think you'll be able to just pull this back get it out. Well, I think huh. clips. Well, I thought they clipped, I thought it was like inverted, remember? I, doesn't it clip to... Yeah, that's why I didn't want to, that's why I wanted to tuck it, but tucking it was not happening. And then there's one back here, yeah, because the clips are like attached to this. Okay, so as you can see, not ideal to take this out, because the clips are on here. That's why I didn't want to do it at first, but you know, tucking it in this corner was not really working out, so we took the, the weather stripping out like I usually do. <laughs> And there you have it guys, look at the difference. Obviously stock up front, 5% in the rear. Uh, it just looks so much better, obviously contrasting with the green paint. I think it's honestly gonna look awesome on the front window here when you know the Hellcat badge and all this stuff comes together with the wheels. It's just gonna look pretty, pretty sick. Obviously, you know, check your corners here for any bubbles. Make sure you don't have any, because uh, you want to get them out as soon as possible, not at the end. Um, just to kind of look close. But we look to be pretty good. Some towel fuzz on the outside. Oh, there's a little guy down here. You see that? Let's get him out. And he is gone as well. So look at that, guys. There she is. Window's done. I'm gonna let that tack up for a little bit before I put the door panel back together because I don't wanna, I don't wanna like peel it up. But oh, the green and black oh tint definitely changes the look of your vehicle 100%. That looks so so much better. All right, guys, and here's the other back window done. Uh, like, it just, the, taking the weather stripping out, so much cleaner, and saves you so much time and f a fight. It, it's just, sometimes it's an extra step, but it just saves you so much fight and ends up saving you film in the end. Uh, some people don't like the look of 5% just for what I do and, you know, stuff I carry, stuff like that, you know, tools and whatever I have in my pack seat. It, it's just almost a necessity. I've, I've had it on all my vehicles since my, my second one. And uh, once you have it, you pretty much will never look back. Obviously, as you get older, sometimes your eyes get, you know, a little less pristine. So you might go to, you know, up, I guess, downgrade to a 20. But we're going to knock out the front windows here and uh, get it to match. But it looks so good so far. <music> All right guys, here is the side done. The passenger front, passenger rear, both tinted. We're gonna quickly hit the um, driver's side over here. We're gonna uh, tint this real quick because we got an appointment at 3.30 to get these tires swapped from uh, the Pirellis to the Nittos. I'm gonna knock this out real quick then. We're gonna go get new tires on this uh, this guy. Ooh guys, it looks freaking sweet. Um, we actually gotta take a quick detour. Um, we're getting the Pirelli swapped right now, so we gotta head out to uh, 
Hilliard. And we're gonna get him swapped from 275 40s to 295 40s. So we're gonna get some stance on this uh, this guy already. This is how it looks now. Let's see how it looks with the 295s on it. Obviously, I'm gonna need PPF and some, you know, our splash guards or something back here because I mean, we're gonna be wrecking this paint otherwise. But we're gonna be swapping these out from the Pirellis to Nittos. Some people are like, what, what, what? These Pirellis honestly aren't that good. Um, like I said, they shake on the highway and they're just not good. So we're switching them to Nittos. Company I actually like, Nitto Toyo, same company. I, I, I'm a fan of them. So we're switching them out to Nittos, getting a little wider in the rear as well. So that should be sweet, but the car does look good. And then afterwards, we're gonna come back and finish our back window and possibly hit our windshield while we're at it. But the car looks so much better already, guys. Oh my. Guys, we are cruising. It's raining, which kind of sucks, but the tint, oh, it just feels awesome. But I do feel violated from the rear with nothing on the back window, but the side tint, oh, it just makes the car just feel like, whew, I just feel violated because there's nothing on the back window yet. But we're gonna take care of these tires and then we're gonna head back to the back window. And depending, I mean, I'm exhausted from last night because I was up late doing, I filmed another video. I don't know if this one's going up first or the other one, so I can't really tell you about that yet, but one or the other one's going up first. I don't know if I'm gonna have the uh, the patience to do a windshield right now, so I might. If I do, we'll have to see it. If not, we'll obviously hit it back another day, but oh, 5% on the sides is just so like, just like, it's just awesome. But we're gonna take care of that back window because it's, I do feel violated. All right, quick trip and we are back. We actually got the new Nitto 555 G2s on the uh, on the car. As you can see, we're already spitting a lot of dirt up because I'm gonna have to get that protected soon because these are, in fact, wider. But yeah, these are a lot wider and they look so much better on the car already, I can tell you that. Um, we're probably about as close as we can without rubbing, without a spacer with the 295s. I'll go over a full review on these new uh, Nittos in, in a different video, but they look awesome, they don't shake. It's, it's just an awesome, so much better ride. And obviously wider in the rear, so when it's warm out, we'll get a little more, a little more traction. But we're gonna come here and do our back window real quick. <laughs> I say real quick, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt. Uh, as you can see, we've got the plastic housing uh, by the third brake light. So Ben says, do not, um, you're gonna have a hard time squeegeeing that. So you might as well just cut around it. So we're gonna cut around it and we're gonna do our 20% rear and we're gonna have a fun time because these defroster lines and that dot matrix is gonna give us a, a uh, fun little enjoyable task. So let's take care of this. Uh, I had to call in the pro for this. Ben had to come in here and knock the <laughs> shrinking out because I was just getting my ass beat by this tent. Um, chargers are definitely have a really curved back window. I don't even want to know about the windshield. Uh, that's def that's probably a different. That's probably a project for another day. But um, it shrunk, and then the the problem here now is it's it's tight back here, and all these lines, the froster lines, dot matrix are all a pain as well. We're gonna have to deal with that now. Let's just hope we can get this in the inside without messing it up because that would suck to do that again. Wow, look at the 5%, can't even see in there. That's awesome, but yeah, we got Ben in there. He's, uh, he's gonna help me out on this. All right, guys, we are all tinted up, except the windshield. We're gonna have to get back to that another day, but maybe even tomorrow, I don't know. We'll see how the uh, wind takes us, but 5% on the sides, as you can see. I mean, you can see through with the other door open. 20% on the rear, you can see in just fine. Close this. You can see through the front door that's open, but when you come back here, cannot see. But as you can see, you can see in, and that's kind of what I like. I just like how from behind, the car looks factory tinted, because that's what they usually put on is 20%. But from the sides, you you just can't see in, as you can tell, which is awesome. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed that. Thanks to Ben for helping me on the back window. And obviously we did get new shoes, new tires for the Hellcat already. These are a 295-40-20. As you can see, they stick out quite a bit more. I'm gonna have to get this uh, area protected very soon, because uh, I mean, we're sticking out now, as you can see. But 
Obviously we'll get some better traction in the rear. And as for the front, they're the same size, but the same size in a Nitto and the same size in a Pirelli. These, for some reason, are a little bit meatier, so just a titch bigger up front too. But as you can see, look at that stance. It's funny for me saying this on a car, but yeah, this thing's got some stance now. Cannot wait for some warm weather where I can actually get these to hook. Yeah, guys, car is all tinted. It's looking good. We're probably going to come back to the windshield maybe tomorrow. I don't know. We'll see when we get to it. But, but yeah, guys, we all know that tint changes the whole look of a car. And I can tell you already, this thing looks so much better with just tint on the sides. Oh, it looks awesome. Can't wait for the windshield. Give me a light smoked look just like my other just like my truck and my jetta give that thing a light smoke on it and it'll look awesome if you guys think the hellcat looks so much better shoot this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the windshield tint shoot this video a thumbs up if you haven't been here before please get down there click subscribe hopefully you guys enjoyed this uh, i know a lot of you do enjoy the tinning videos stuff like that so um, oh, it just looks so much better but i want to say thank you guys for watching thank you guys for 62,000 subscribers and i cannot wait to see you guys in the next video